I mean, like the sharpest pain I've ever had. Right. So I got scared. Well, yeah. I'm glad it could be fixed. Yeah. You scared me at first when you go, uh oh, it's really bad. Well, it's bad. Well, did anything happen, or what? 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 What started this latest episode? So here's what's happened. So I was perfect, and my back would hurt. A little, you know, when I when I would get up from sitting, it would mm -hmm. just ache a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, and then it would go away. Then I'm mm -hmm. fine. Go about my business. I was right. walking five and a half miles a day. Mm -hmm. A couple of weeks ago, well, then I had infection in my knee, and I kind of. I was, I don't know why I quit walking. For whatever reason, I quit doing my five and a half mile walk a day. Right. Well, a couple weeks ago, I said, you know what? I gotta get back at this. So I walked five miles. Mm -hmm. Hadn't walked in months. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next day, I walked another five miles. Okay. So <laughs> then. So you manned it up. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> just to show, oh yeah, I'm in good shape. Yeah. Well, anyway, so I got back pain, but I had pain went to my leg. Mm -hmm. I mean like the sharpest pain I've ever had. Right. And my whole, this this is like a week ago, two weeks ago. Right. And it was on a weekend, of course. Yeah. And my whole leg got numb, even all up in here. Mm -hmm. Not normally, you know, the sciatica thing where right. it goes down the back. This was, so I got scared. Well, yeah. And I thought, I couldn't get in to see my doctor. I thought, well, what if I got a blood clot? I just mm. read about blood clots, right, you know? Right. And so I'm thinking, God, I got a blood clot. I'll be dead by morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I go, God. And I, and it hurt so bad. Made up, I couldn't see my doctor for a week. Mm. So I called your number. I said, well, that'll be even longer. But she got me like, boom, why was things move like that? I go, Good. holy yeah. cow. I said, I'm, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> in fact, today, as we speak, it, it feels pretty good. I got, oh, some, good. I got yeah. some naproxen from the VA, you know, and yeah. so I, I just take naproxen. Yeah. But now it's, I notice that it's getting worse and, you know, worse and worse. And that the other thing just scared me over the... Oh yeah, the pain. Over, for yeah. the weekend, so I thought, well, you know what, I'll go check it out. Yeah, so. well, we're gonna steer you in the right direction. And now lift this knee up toward the roof, hold it up. Now lift this knee up toward the roof and hold it up. Now I'm feeling that's a lot weaker, huh? This one's weaker. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking just now. I yeah, know. lift this one up, hold it up. And then lift this one up, hold it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm putting the same yeah. one up. Can you feel me here? Yeah. How about here? Yeah. Same? Like the other day, I couldn't have. This is all the herniated disc, this big blob right here. Oh, wow. It's a big one. We count, the bones have numbers. Here's number five. That's where your uh, spacer is from before. Oh, okay. So that's got nothing to do with this. That's five, four, three, two, one. So this herniation is between your one and your two. Oh. And some of the nerves that come out there are the ones that help you flex your thigh and your hip, and that's why that thigh muscle feels so weak. Wow. It's big. Um, a disc is a really unusual structure in the body. It's got a hard outer part, and then that thing's like Gore-Tex, and then a soft inner part that's like crab meat. Oh, that's a dumb. I don't know why we say that, but that's what it. Well, that's I what we relate say. to that. It is a little bit like crabby. So if that outer part rips, the inner part can come through, and that's what we're seeing in the MRI. This is the crab meat, right there. Okay. So once it comes out, and that's what happened when you were on that He-Man walk, <laughs> was it, it ripped? It, it may have been ripped before. It may have just ground more out. Your body is gonna is already starting to digest it and chew it up, and if you leave it alone for long enough, your body's gonna take it all back and heal it up as best it can. The problem is there's compression of the nerve while your body is healing, and the inflammation to chew up that disc makes that compression worse. So with the weakness that you have right now, most surgeons would give you two options. Option one, have injections and wait it out. Option two, go in and remove the herniated part of the disc. 
just the part that's out where it shouldn't be. That surgery for removing the part of the disc that's where it's not supposed to be is called micro, because it's done through a microscope, discectomy, because it's removing the part of the disc that's out where it shouldn't be. Micro discectomy. In general, what determines whether you need a micro discectomy or just waiting is the weakness. If you have weakness, most surgeons would say your best chance of avoiding permanent weakness and of getting better is to go in and have that micro discectomy. Um, this is pretty significant weakness in my estimation. Okay. And um, I wouldn't want you to be like this permanently. I know you're not out there trying to walk far because of the pain you're having right now, but the truth is you couldn't. Mm -hmm. And uh, the disc is very large and it's very easy to remove. So my recommendation for you would be to have it removed. To remove the disc? Yeah. What do you put in there then? Nothing. So the disc has come out. So all they're going to do, they're not going to remove the disc where it's, it's supposed to be. They're only going to remove the part that's out and where it shouldn't be. Oh, they're going to like clean it up or... Clean it out. Clean it out. And that's actually the biggest risk of this surgery is, well, more disc could just come out. And it could. However, 80 plus percent of the time it doesn't. Most of the time you have this microdiscectomy and you're done. If you don't, if more comes out, then they look at doing a fusion, which is to go in and take out, like you had between your L5 and your S1, uh -huh. they go in and take out the rest of the disc and put in a spacer. But there's a good chance they'd get away with just doing the microdiscectomy. So is this microdiscectomy, is that more invasive than the other one I had? Or it's much it's, less. Sounds like it's much less. Anything it with less. the word micro on it. <laughs> it's good. I, I'm kind of thinking that's good. Yeah, I feel the same way, <laughs> Pat. I feel the same way. So um, it's an incision in the back, usually less than an inch. No kidding. The surgeon looks down a tube, uh, drills off some bone, takes out the disc that's sticking up there, and then closes. He's gonna put me to sleep for this. It's right? done with you under a general anesthetic, you're asleep. The reason is, it's not that it's such a big surgery, it's that you're on your stomach. So we gotta make sure you breathe right. So oh. you gotta to go to under general anesthetic, breathing tube. Oh, is that right? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You in good enough health for a general anesthetic? Is your heart still good? Yeah, yeah, I haven't had, I've been. I mean, you walked the five miles, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. So you should, and you're not taking any blood thinners? I don't take any blood, except the naproxen for the pain now and then. That's okay. I only take uh, B12. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if this matters or not, but I have leukemia. Mm. I have a, what's called CLL. Right. I've had it for... I don't think it's going to be a problem. We would need his clearance for you to have surgery, so okay. that's something easy to do. Um, I guess my question for you is, Given what I've told you today, should I send you to a surgeon to remove that disc or should I send you to a pain management doctor for an epidural? There's no right and no wrong. It just comes down to you and what you want to do. Well, um, what's the, I suppose there's not really any recovery time for the surgery, right? It's about a week to heal up the wound. Because yeah, I know um, when you gave me a surgery, I, <laughs> I got to tell you this story. So... I didn't tell anybody I really had surgery. Well, oh, really? I told somebody. <laughs> I do, so I go back to bus driving, right? right? <laughs> I said, who told you I had back surgery? Mm -hmm. And well, so I said, you're sitting there and you heard some rumor that I had it. And you're going to do it. And I said, look at my back. I said, look at There's not even a scar back there. <laughs> I did. I swear to God. <laughs> so, oh my but goodness. I had this big one across, across your belly. <laughs> So, I mean, I went back to work. I yeah, was, you were fine. I, I uh, was, this is a lot less surgery than what you had before. So, I, I would kind of go with what you'd say. I, I would probably rather have the surgery done. That's what I would recommend. If it were me, that's what I would do. Um, okay. I, I'd have to go with that, to be honest with you. I mean, I could try the other one, but then, then what? And then I'm just going to be back in there. The thing about the surgery for disc herniation is you're having it to avoid the risk of living with it. So if you're gonna do it, it only makes sense to do it right away. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to take all that risk and then have the surgery. If you were gonna do that, there's no point in having the surgery. Yeah. So the goal is to get better faster. You wanna start as soon as possible. So anyway, so, well, you know what? I'm, I'm glad, I'm, 
I'm glad it could be fixed. Yeah. You scared me at first when you go, uh oh, it's really bad. Well, it's big. It is big. It, yeah, it, it, I guess I don't know that. No, it it's, is. It's, it's it's maybe ten times the size of most herniations. Is that right? Yeah, it's a real big one. What so, makes that? I think it was because you kept walking the ten miles. You know, well, I was walking like four, four and a half, almost five miles a day for like three, four, five months. Yeah. You know, listen, this is a freak thing. It happened, whatever. So, will I be able to walk after this? You will. Though? You'll be able to get back right to it. Well, let's see. That's what's important. It is. Yeah. All right. All we're right. on it. Wow. Good to see cool. you, sir. Good. Good.